hydraulic control circuit are used to control and transmit power to actuators. Hi everyone, I'm back again for another session. We're going to talk about hydraulic control circuits. Now when we talk about hydraulic control circuits, we are talking about the means of transferring the operator's signal to the control valves. Now how is the operator's signal sent to the control valve to achieve whatever the operator requires the machine to do? We have levers in, the operator moves them right, left, forward, backwards to achieve a desired effect. Now, there are several means through which the operator's signal is transferred to the control valve. We have mechanical means. We have pilot means, which will be hydraulic. Then we have electrical means or electrohydraulic means. When we, can, we talk about mechanical, where a set of rods are linked together to the control valve to be able to send the signal or cause the spool in the control valve to move inwards or outwards or stay the same to achieve a desired result. There are other means whereby a pilot system is used where we have a hydraulic pump, sorry, we have a pilot pump that sends signal oil to the controls where hoses bring oil in and out to the pilot valves where the operator controls and this pilot sends signal to the control valve where oil goes in or out to move the spool. Oil may be sent to the front side of the spool or to the back side of the spool, depending on the arrangement. It could be to the top or to the bottom to move the spool up or downwards, sideways or yeah. That's the pilot system. Now, when we talk about the electrical system, now this spool in the control valve may be employing a solenoid on both sides or on one side depending on which arrangement we have. A current could be sent from the operator's lever where, his, where the operator's movement is converted into electric signal. Now this electric signal is sent to the is sent to the ECM or electronic control model. Now this electronic motor control model decodes this signal and then decides how much current it sends to the solenoid to move the spool or to continue to move it or stop it or retract it depending on the arrangement of this solenoid. So when we talk about the control of the control valve itself, that's the mechanical, pilot, and the electrical means. So these are the three common types that are employed on heavy equipment controls. So we'll stop here and then hopefully we elaborate more on the mechanical pilot and the electrohydraulic control or electrical control system. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.